Hey everyone, it's Tom from Ludicrous Feed. Thanks for joining us. I'm in Los Angeles and I'm outside the Peterson Automotive Museum to check out the Tesla Cybertruck Semi, Plaid Model S and a whole lot of other stuff. Let's go take a look. Okay, so parking rates are 15 minutes free, $21 standard daily rate. Four dollar discount here with uh, museum visitors and just beyond the parking station right there is the Tesla Semi. Wow, look at that. Let's go take a look at that. Alright, there it is right there, the Tesla Semi. How cool is that? Right there, here we go. The words here, 2017 Tesla Semi, Alpha prototype, top speed 65 miles per hour, range 300 to 500 miles, uh, 0 to 60 miles per hour in 20 seconds. And of course we know that Tesla recently did a range test 500 miles with the Tesla Semi. Alright, let's take a little walk around here. Let's have a look. Let's see how far we can actually look inside the cabin here. I'm going to try and extend my GoPro stick. See whether we can reach up into the cabin there. You guys can see in there. I'll have to review the footage in a second. Around the back there. That is cool. That's the Tesla Semi there. That is the mirrors there on the side. Yep, this thing will change the future of the trucking industry. Look at the door handles there. Looks very much like the Tesla Model 3 Model Y door handles, huh? I love it. Let's see what tyres they're using. 295, 75R, 22.5. Big wheels. Goodyear tyres on these ones. Let's keep walking around here. The lights. A little grill down here. The semi plate. Tesla logo. Extra big frunk, maybe as well. <laughs> Who knows? Around this side as well. More door handles. And again, I'm just going to see if I can film in there inside the cabin. That is so cool. Right, let's take a look around the back here. Around the back of the semi. Ta da! There we go. We know the PepsiCo is their biggest, or well, their first delivery really. And Frito-Lay as well is the other customer that's picked up some semis. And they're the first two big customers for the Tesla Semi. Another Tesla logo there in red. Very cool. All right, let's hop inside the museum and see what else we can find. All right, there's the ticket stand there, Peterson Automotive Museum. They the mission prices, adults $19. Senior 17, veterans 15, children between 4 to 17, 12 bucks, and free for kids under 3. Check this out, even the lifts have got the Tesla, one less plaid there, 0 to 60 in 1.99 seconds, so cool. And there's the Tesla Model S plaid 2022, it's charging away here in the corner, so cool. Plugged in, there's probably a charger around the corner here, let's take a look. Oh no, it's just charging off the wall. How amazing is that? Wow, carbon fiber. Down the bottom there. Awesome. Oh, there's the plaid logo. How cool is that? I love this color too. Midnight silver? I don't know what they call it for the S, but it's definitely got a satin, satin sheen to it. Let's take a walk around here. Oh, we can win this, win this custom Tesla. Or less plaid. Yeah. Scan the QR code. Three electric motors, 1,000 horsepower, 200 miles per hour, top speed, 0 to 60 and 1.99. That is so cool. All right, let's take a look around. Look inside the car, red interior. Yoke steering. You just see it through there. Center screen, drive console. Is there a rear screen in this one? Uh, yes, there is. Just a rear screen there. Don't want to get too close, I'll get in trouble. Oh, look at the air vents down here behind the carbon fiber. That is cool. Let's see what wheels they're using. Michelin Pilot Sport. Nice. Very nice. 285. 30, is that R? 21, that's what they're using. So look from the front here. 
cool. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yes. So nice. And fully chrome deleted as well. Door handles. And the trim around the windows. Red brake calipers. Oh, less plaid, everyone. Check out how the charge flap opens as well. It goes that way, sort of like a wing, gull wing outward as opposed to upwards for the uh, three and the Y and the old S is the fold this way. So yeah, a bit different there. Very cool. Okay, I bought a ticket. There we go. P indicates I am in. I paid, I'm ready to go. Okay, walking down the stairs to the first level. Can already see the cyber truck down there. Looking forward to this bit. The anticipation is building. And there we go. Here's the Tesla section. This is what I came to see. Very cool. Look at that. Cyber Rodeo Giga Texas. That was there for the opening. That is very cool. Right. Let's take a walk around. And oh my goodness, this whole section is just Tesla. There's the Cybertruck, of course. Wow, this whole floor dedicated to Tesla vehicles. Current cars, concepts, prototypes, past vehicles. If you're ever in LA or anyone who loves Teslas, this is where you want to be. There's a Tesla fully pulled apart right there. Uh, amazing. It's like one mega Tesla showroom. So cool. Okay, here's the Tesla Cybertruck. This is what I came to see. And uh, before you ask, no, I cannot touch it. I'm not allowed to, but it really looks like one big industrial kitchen sink. And I'm pretty sure that's what it would feel like as well, touching it. Look at those wheels, oh my goodness. I gotta say, this thing is an absolute beast. It's a lot higher than I thought it would be too. It's definitely peaked up the top there. See that? Like, that is taller than me. Definitely taller than me. I'm five foot nine, so I would say that is probably, probably six foot, six foot higher, that peak. I'll just turn the camera around so you can see me there. There we go. That's my height compared to it right here. I'll just stand right up to it. See, it's just a bit taller than me, right? And that is so cool. I love the hexagonal covering of the wheel there, the wheel arches. Look at the lights. That is awesome. God, I mean, that is a really high ground clearance, super high ground clearance. That's like up to my, halfway up my shin, I would say. It's an absolute monster. I would not care about scratching this thing in a car park. It's phenomenal. Unbelievable. Look at the tread on those tires. That can conquer anything on this planet, surely. My goodness, okay, I was, wasn't sure about this vehicle before I saw this, but now that I've seen this up close, this is amazing. It's inside the cockpit there, yoke steering, screen in the middle, it's so minimalistic. I mean, look at the, look at the, um, uh, the, the dash there, it's just like one white piece, that's it. I'd love to tap it to see what it feels like. That screen even looks industrial, look how thick that is. Of course, centre screen in the front there as well. This thing is amazing. See the sunroof up the top there, or glass roof at least. Three seats up the back. Look at the centre of that middle seat at the front. Man, I would love to go in, but I'm not allowed to, obviously. Unbelievable. 2019 Tesla Cybertruck prototype. Cyberquad, yes, Cyberquad's coming up the back. I'll show you. Exoskeleton, of course, stainless steel, unibody, strong as anything. I've ever seen. 500 miles range. There you go. 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds. Quad motor? Okay, I'm gonna look at the tray here. Look at that tray. That is, that's cool. That's the kind of tray I want if I was gonna haul stuff, right? Like stainless steel, nothing's gonna damage it. Don't care, just chuck anything you want in the back. It's exactly what you want in a hardcore vehicle like this, armoured vehicle, seven bullets, as Franz showed us. Um, yeah, I mean, that thing slides down too. 
But look at that tray. And then the ramp. That is awesome. And then the quad. Quad bike. Well, they call it an ATV here, but yeah, quad bike, I guess. That's angled as well. That is really cool. I'll just stand next to it so you can see. That's kind of the size compared to me as a human. There you go. That is cool. Look at the wheels on this thing. This thing is solid. Very cool. So there it is, guys. That's a cyber truck. That is the cyber truck. There's the bot next to it. All right. That's the next thing I want to look at. The bot. Oh, one more thing I want to show you. Check this out in the corner here. This was the sledgehammer that was used in the demonstration in 2019 when Elon Musk revealed it. Yeah, that's the steel ball. So my mistake, I, thought, I said bullet, but it was the steel ball that was thrown at the window. That is hilarious. There it is there. Video of the steel ball, harmlessly bouncing off Cybertruck's window, prior to launch. And there's a sledgehammer that he hit. That's cool. Okay, so more examples of merch from Tesla in the past. Cyber Quad for Kids, Tesla to Kia, Sexy Shorts, Cyber Truck Whistle, Cyber Whistle, Tesla Surfboard. It's a pretty small surfboard, very short board. Okay, so this is actually just the 2021 Tesla bot prototype, not the one that graced the stage, but that's the prototype right there. There we go, there's some example. <laughs> Five foot eight tall, 160 pounds, designed to carry 45 pounds, running at five miles per hour. That was what Elon Musk said on stage. There you go. Next to the Cybertruck right there. Okay, so this floor is just amazing. I'm just gonna start from the uh, side here and just go all the way around this whole thing. So this is the segment of the, uh, well, the boring company from uh, Las Vegas Convention Center. There's a segment of it, that's what it looks like. I can't touch it, but assuming that's just concrete there, wall to wall. And I'm just gonna pan over here, and this is the example of, of the Tesla Roadster that was launched into space. Okay, Starman in there, you can just see him there. There you go, this is the SpaceX section. And here is an example of the Hyperloop pod scale model replica there you go hyperloop pod okay and then back here this is the is this the actual no this must be a replica of the shuttle they used of the spacex launches maybe it was the actual one it doesn't say driven by it so maybe it was just an example of the model x that was used to transport the astronauts uh, first man mission and some examples of SpaceX rockets from 2016 to 2020. There we go, for all you SpaceX fans out there. And then there is this Tesla Semi. Of course, this is a 40% scale model, um, clay model. And of course, there's an example of a real one in the car park. Ooh, this is the Roadster. 2017 Tesla Roadster 2 example. It looks so good in real life. And I'd love to test one of these. Uh, amazing. Looks so swish. Stunning. Hopefully they get made soon. Zero to 60 miles an hour in 1.9 seconds. 620 miles, it's about a thousand kilometers. Ooh yeah. Here is the Model Y. Of course, Model Y is in Australia now. Model Y Performance, hopefully coming soon to Australia. We've got one on order. Looking forward to that. All right, Model X. Model X 2012 Model X. So this is the prototype. I'll just come back here just a touch. Looks a little bit more like the old facelift, pre-facelift Model S with a nose cone before the refresh. So there you go, this 2012 prototype right there. Concept art behind there. And then this one is a course Model 3. This looks like a prototype as well. Let's see, 2016, yes, 2016 Tesla Model 3 prototype. 
There you go. Silver? I like that silver colour. A few dents there. And scratches. It is a prototype. And this is a more or less plaid, 2021. We saw one outside. But yeah, this is also the Model S plaid from last year. Looking beautiful, your exterior. You can actually look inside this one. Right inside there. Sorry, it's a bit dark, I know. Let's see if I can uh, turn my light on. A bit more light inside the cabin. Yeah, not quite finished, of course. It's a prototype. Okay, and then back here we've got examples of the batteries in here. Pretty chunky. 4680s? Or oh, they're 2170s. How big are these? I'll take a look, show you. This is the 4680. Okay, I thought so. They're pretty chunky. Deconstructed 4680 structural battery pack shown at the 2020 Battery Day event. Yeah. Five times the energy density, six times more power density. Reduction in cost per kilowatt hour, apparently. 4680. That is a chunky battery. Chunky. There you go. I'll try and get as close as I can. Yep. Yeah, very cool. One shot, by the way, guys. Just keep showing you. All right, so more examples of Tesla merch. Uh, that's a mega pack. Example of a mega pack right here behind. Is that the solar roof? Ooh, I think it is. Ooh, I can finally touch it. Oh, that texture. So good. This would be cool. It looks pretty good too, actually. Love to have these on my roof. See that shingled overlaps itself? Yeah, imagine having these all over your roof. Amazing. Power Wall 2 we have, of course. Gen 3 power uh, wall connector we have. Tesla supercharger we all know about. Oh, that's where the supercharger map is. Good old Australia, We've got a few now. What's this thing on its side? 2014 Tesla Model S P90D. Yeah, on its side there. All right, let's keep going around here. 2015 Tesla Model S, dual motor, chassis, and drivetrain. Does this look familiar to you guys? Of course it should. This is pretty much my car back home. 2015, exactly same build, same year. I love this car. This can't bear to part with it, except this one's signature. It's got the signature on the brand there. The logo, that's cool. Except this one's a P85, so whereas mine is a P70D. But essentially the same car. Essentially the same car, right there. And that's what they look like on the inside. All right, around the corner here, I can see a Tesla model, sorry, Tesla Roadster, the original Roadster. Uh, what's this one? Oh, this one's a battery pack from 2008. A Daimler Smart Fort 2 electric drive in that car. Strategic partnerships. Okay, this is the 2008 Tesla Roadster. Based on the, of course, the uh, Lotus Elise. It's one of the early prototypes. 0 to 60 in 4.6 seconds. Can I walk around for you? This is still a beautiful machine right here. This one I can actually walk around the entire thing. Please do not touch vehicles or platforms. Yes, sir. Let's have a look inside here for you. That's what it looked like. Quite a few buttons there. Electric. Doesn't quite look electric yet, does it? Still more buttons. Uh, no screen, still a pull lever for the handbrake. Volume control. Definitely reminds me of a Lotus. Let's see where that inspiration is from. The old Tesla motors, badging right there. Oh, the early days, the early days. So this one is the 2005 Tesla Roadster. Let's walk around this way. This is definitely a prototype. Definitely a model. Can Tesla become a real automaker? Bloomberg, 
23rd June 2009. I think so. Here it is. Here's the 2002 Lotus Elise Mule 1. This is what it was based on. That's where the inspiration was from. As you can see, I'll just pan across. That's where the inspiration was from. You see how similar they look. Fair enough, you could draw inspiration from somewhere. And then here. Yeah, that's the T0 we looked at earlier. This is what Elon Musk drove, gave him the inspiration. Elon Musk noted that without the T0, Tesla wouldn't exist or would have started much later. Look at this thing at the back, AC propulsion. Is this where it draws power from, I guess? Look at this thing. Looks like it's from Tomorrowland or something. It's like a racing car. It's got a CD player, yep. That's cool. And of course, a bit of history about Elon himself. You can read about him right there. And some books that inspired him. Hitchhiker's Guide to Galaxy, Isaac Asimov. There you go. Blaster. Blaster. All right, I've seen many iterations of this type of game, but yeah, Blaster, that was the game. Okay. Okay, so this vehicle here is actually an EV, believe it or not, from 1908. Okay. Same year the Ford Model T debuted. 40 mile range. And then this is a 2009 Tesla Model S prototype. It's got a bit more of a rounded rear end. I'll keep walking around this way. White interior. Still would pass today if it was released, even though it's a prototype. Looks cool. Cool color. Screen still remains. It's a bit more integrated with the rest of the car, doesn't it? Some buttons there inside, like the center bit, center console, as opposed to a stick that they used later on, uh, taken from Mercedes, that gear shift. 2009 Tesla Model S. And then if I keep walking around, the Tesla logo is a bit more different. Got that extra swish in the back. I uh, can't see any autopilot cameras yet. And then the front actually looks a bit more rounded as well, like a bit more, the lines kind of keep going a bit more and then dip downwards sort of more acutely, as opposed to sort of a more front round nose cone from the 2015 car that I have. It's a bit different. There you go. It's great to see the history of uh, the Model S right here as well. And for pan across, we've got the Model Y completely pulled apart. And uh, just showing you how few moving parts there actually are inside uh, one of the newer vehicles from Tesla. 2022 Tesla Model Y. You know, it's saying it's got uh, a dozen or so moving parts compared to 200 in a conventional ICE vehicle. I'll just pan up there. Amazing. Okay, so this exhibit here is showing a robotic arm from KUKA holding up the single front casting piece that goes into Model Y. And see the battery packs underneath it, I'll show you in one second. But nowadays you've got obviously stamped pieces that's hanging there, suspended, and then the single front casting, and then they all get connected in the manufacturing process. So single front, single rear cast piece, uh, combined with the stamped elements, and that's how you get Model Y. And then if I just uh, walk around here, if I look at the battery pack on the floor of the vehicle, they're definitely the 4680 battery pack. They're huge. That's how a Tesla is assembled. Battery pack on the floor. You've got the rest of the car above. It's awesome. You can see the rear cast as well down here underneath the wheel arch so front and rear single cast combined together with stamped elements see some of the welding there see that go around to the back here okay so this is a tesla model y crash test car test 78074 airbags deployed with a front on collision at, let's see, it was 35 miles an hour, so about 50 kilometers an hour. 
in metric scale. See how the crumple zone at the front there, but the front cabin essentially is all intact. Crumple zone in the front crushes right in, pretty safe vehicle. So you know, I feel pretty safe driving one of these, knowing this is what happens. and the passengers are safe inside. All right, so a bit of a special piece here. This was the DeLorean that was actually driven in the three movies, the three Back to the Future movies. Let's take a look at the actual car itself. Of course, it's a DMC DeLorean. This was the unit, guys. Witnessing a bit of Hollywood history here in Los Angeles in the Peterson Museum. Inside the cabin where Marty McFly and Doc sat inside to go back to 1955 and 1885 and 2015, which are now past, of course. That's so cool. I can't believe I'm actually seeing the actual unit. Very lucky here. Look at the wires at the back there. Out of time. Love the plate there, California. Let's have another closer look. Get all the switches in there too. Look, the numbers are kind of still going. 26 October 1985. Flux capacitor. That's so cool. Inspiration for Model X? Maybe. And have a look at this. This is the actual kit from Knight Rider. The actual kit. Knight Industries 2000, 1982. Driven in the TV series, Night Rider. Yeah. So cool. Theoretically equipped with a hydrogen powered turbojet. Nice Pontiac Firebird. So cool. Love the uh, fabric seats inside too. Oh, this brings back memories. Look at the cockpit right there. Oh man, living my childhood again. Yep, I remember Kit talking and these lighting up. Look at those buttons. Amazing. Let's see if I can go around the other side, have another look. Another quick look at the cockpit from this side. Awesome. Sunroof. Scanner on the back here. It's a bit dirty, doesn't it? It's a detail. Oh, look at the plate. California Knight. Of course, the one and only Knight Rider kit. All right, so I'm gonna walk around this section here, just dedicated to EVs. This is the 2023 Volkswagen ID Buzz. There we go. Reminds me of the old combi vans, of course, but the new modern take. Looking forward to seeing these in Australia, hopefully, one day. And then if I scan across here, You'll see a big poster here, alternating currents, the fall and rise of electric vehicles, telling us that they've been around since pretty much the 1830s, 1830s, that's almost 200 years ago. Now here's an example of one from 1915, the Detroit Electric Model 61 Brougham, Brougham. and there were 3,000 built, range of 80 miles, that's about 130 odd kilometres. So this section tells us about the fall of electric vehicles in 20th century automobile history because of uh, cheaper oil, cheaper parts, better manufacturing. That's a 1963 Henny kilowatt, 40 mile range. And slightly renewed interest, 1960 electric shopper. It's at 30, 35 mile range. Look at this ad here, I love these old ads. 1960 electric shopper. I love the colours too. Personal transport pod, 1996. Okay, that's fairly recent there, 50 mile range. Plodding along there. Look at that single passenger. Again, cool colours. And this is the EV1 right here. Now this is a semi-famous vehicle from GM that was uh, essentially shelved, I guess, but this is actually a decent looking you know, passenger vehicle here. Got two seats. It's inside, look at those switches inside there. It's fairly modern still by today's standard. 
fairly spacious. I'd be happy driving this car. Fairly futuristic looking for its time. 1996 General Motors EV1. There we go, 100 mile range, 80 miles an hour, top speed. And, then, and yeah, built in the 1990s by GM. Uh, 1,000 odd EV1s were built, there you go. Select dealers in California, Arizona and Georgia. After 40 years of costly production, EV1 was discontinued when all but 40 cars were dismantled. There's definitely one in Victoria, Australia. But here we are looking at one here at the Peterson Automotive Museum. Love the badging there too. GM EV1. Ah, here's the T0 1998. Now this is quite famous too, the T0. Credited as being the inspiration for modern Tesla vehicles. Yes, that's right. And renewing interest in modern EVs. Also developed by a GM EV1 engineer, Alan Caccioni. That's right. It's got a vehicle to grid system. The example was driven by Elon Musk before we joined Tesla Motors. There it is, the T0 in all its glory. There's the logo right there. And the battery is lining the side of the car as opposed to the skateboard design. Have a look inside the cockpit there. I see a CD player. How cool is that? Bit of storage at the back there. There you go. Precursor to Tesla. This is a 2001 Nissan Hyper Mini. 72 mile range. Kind of looks like the iMove, doesn't it? Maybe this was the inspiration for the iMove. And I'm just going to walk around here. That's the Faraday Future FF0 concept from 2016 from Faraday. Electric hypercar, 200 miles an hour. Pretty snazzy looking vehicle there. And I'm just going to keep walking here. This is a Fisker, Fisker Ocean prototype. One built. A lot of these cars were just prototypes, sadly. Let's double back on ourselves and look at this one. This is the 2015 Rematch, or Rimac, Concept One. This was a fast vehicle. Yeah, I believe this was um, 1.9 seconds, zero to 100 kilometers an hour. It's a very quick, eight built, eight built, Concept One. This is the uh, 2019 Automobili Pininfarina, Batista, 310 miles per hour, 150 built. Again, a nice looking vehicle there. Uh, 2017 Sondor's EV prototype, Malibu based. Luckily produced here in California, or it was anyway. 2017. Is that three wheels? Yes, I think it's three wheels. There you go, third wheel at the back there. Decent looking interior, from what I can see. Two seats. And that is the electric vehicle section, outside of Tesla vehicles. All right, everyone, that's it for me. Tom from Ludicrous Feed, Tesla Cybertruck, Tesla Model S Plaid, Peterson Automotive Museum here in Los Angeles, California. Thanks for watching and take care, and as always, Happy charging. All right, so inside the lobby of the Peterson Automotive Museum. Tickets over there. Big screen here. Lamborghini Aventador electric car. Well, hopefully they'll be an electric Aventador one day in real life. Benz Actros lorry. Yeah. This looks like the Cybertruck here. Mini Cybertruck. I have to have a look at the real one, hopefully, as well, later on. There's inside the souvenir store, Peterson Automotive Museum. Some cool shirts there. Look at this shirt here, inside Tesla. That's a cool shirt. I'll just keep panning around. Some more cool cars here. Going to Sega Kira. Some more cool cars in the lobby. A couple of Ferraris. Yeah, can't wait to go inside and take a closer look to find that Cybertruck. All right, so this poster just caught my eye outside the souvenir store. Have a look at this poster here. Peterson Automotive inside Tesla with the Cybertruck there. Let's have a look. 
This is inside Tesla supercharging the electric revolution. Premium Tesla, Peterson inside Tesla poster, collectible poster that commemorates the inside Tesla supercharging the electric revolution exhibit. 24 by 36 inches, premium finish with a gloss finish available. 250 pieces limited, designed by Tesla for the Peterson Automotive Museum, 39.99 US. There we go, that is a cool poster right there with the Cybertruck with its lights on. Exclusive to the Peterson Museum. All right, so this is the Tesla merch in the corner. A couple of kids' cars there. And some more merchandise here in the form of t-shirts, hoodies. Oh, inside Tesla. Cybertruck. Kids' t-shirts. Some more t-shirts. Look at that Cybertruck hat. That's cool. I've actually got these t-shirts already. But yeah, nice. This little Tesla corner here. Yeah, very good.